Hey guys, Bajunga Dustin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solo the Illidari Council. This is easily the hardest fight in the raid, and definitely the most healing intensive. Basically, you can think about this as one boss with four different areas to attack him. He has a combined total of roughly 5 million hit points, and every time you deal damage to one of them, it ducks from that total. So, AoE is your best bet, because you're hitting the boss four times. The girl on your right is a healer. You can't interrupt the heals, so don't really worry about it. Um, the guy next to her is a paladin. He will be casting bubble on her, which is basically just going to slow your damage down. It's not going to do a whole lot. You can't really. You, you don't need to worry about that. Um, the guy on your left is a rogue, and he is stunnable. He's the only one that you can stun. Um, the rest of them are just going to whack on you as much as they possibly can. Um, the rogue will disappear from time to time and then come back um, you can stun him to avoid some of his damage but his damage is not your biggest concern your biggest concern is damage from the ground you have flame strike blizzard and consecrate to deal with so watch where you're standing and try to stay out of the ice try to stay out of the consecrate try to stay out of the flame strike um, if you can stay out of all three of those then their damage is not that much of a pain in the ass to deal with. The um, the biggest thing you can keep doing is keep AOEing, keep self healing, stun the rogue if you are having problems. Um, the rest of the fight is fairly straightforward. Keep AOEing, get as much of them in the AOE as possible, so you can tear them down quicker. Now, big effects like uh, when they start getting lower, like touch of death or execute aren't going to look like they're doing as much damage as they should be because if you hit if you hit one of them for 200,000 then they're all going to take 50,000 so all of their health is going to go down a little bit like when I use touch of death and I hit them for you know almost 500,000 they're only going to take 125,000 each so it doesn't actually work the way the you know mechanically it says it should as long as you stay out of the crap on the ground, you shouldn't have too much of a problem with self-healing on this one. Um, you can finish watching this one if you want, or you can skip to the end and uh, go ahead and go to the next boss. And uh, thanks for watching.